Yeah, a fact. Gina sadly has always loved horses, so last year she decided it was time to turn her dream of opening a horse rescue into reality. She moved her family from the Lower Mainland to Princeton. We found that we were working way too much and the children were in hockey and baseball and it seemed that family time was over. Gina started with nothing, but by using Craigslist, a free classified ad website, she has been able to get just about everything she needs for the rescue for next to nothing or even free. So you even find animals on Craigslist, like these go the goats? <laughs> the goats came from Craigslist. They did. This is Bill. And that's Cookie. They were named something else, but they've been here quite a while. I can't remember. <laughs> Almost everything in here came from Craigslist. <laughs> Families that come to visit the rescued horses will find a fully stocked kids' games room and a guest cabin, which Gina lists on Craigslist to barter for what she needs. Uh, saddles range from roughly $400 up. And all three of my saddles are Western saddles, and they were straight over barter. So the people came up to the cabin for three days, and they brought me the saddle in return. And secondhand shopping now has cachet, because what's old is new again. That's what they've been doing at Beeline Appliances for years now. Rebuilding old dryers, washers, fridges and stoves from the inside out. More and more consumers are coming in, wanting to be green. The bonus is the bucks they save. You're looking at probably, well, that's probably less than half the price. And then maybe you say 30, 40% of what a new product would sell for. Come on, sweetheart. It's Gina's secondhand savvy that has helped give these horses a new home. And she's one of just 50 million people every month that uses Craigslist. I used to look at eBay, never used eBay. I thought it was uh, kind of difficult to grasp. Didn't understand that there was, you buy something for $6, but then it cost you $20, you know, and shipping. So she hates that. No, Jeff. Um, I just love it and I'll always be a Craigslist user.